Liam, sit through to the next round of the Challenge Cup after a 32-4 win over Whitehaven. Um, after the first 20 minutes where we were on fire, was there a little bit of frustration that we couldn't really put a score on in that second half? Uh, I don't know about frustration, but there's definitely a fair bit to learn from it. Uh, and we're, we're aware of it, players are aware of it before they even come off and, and I talk. Uh, but yeah, really good start and, and obviously really, really happy to, to win our first game at home this year and, and my first game at home as coach. So um, happy with that. I think it was a little bit boring from sort of half an hour onwards and, and gave ourselves a, a, a defensive workout uh, through our own uh, inability to keep hold of the ball. But yeah, first, first 25 minutes were outstanding. Is there some kind of relief and positivity that you only restrict a, a tough championship side like Whitehaven to just one try in the 80 minutes? Yeah, yeah, like I just said, we gave ourselves a lot of defence to do and um, and we did it pretty well. Uh, I think, you know, Whitehaven probably didn't challenge us as much as they wanted to uh, and they're still really early in there. Um, their preparation and their season with obviously how, how they get, go about things up there and, and getting players to, to train and over from Australia and, what, and whatnot. So that won't be the, West, the best Whitehaven team we play this year. Um, they'll be a, a hell of a lot better in the next two times we play them. Uh, but, but yeah, um, it was pleasing to, to hold them out and just got the one sort of turnover try um, and gave ourselves a massive defensive stint um, in the, in the, from about half an hour onwards. We get a week off um, next week before the next round of the cup. Is it one of those where you're glad to have a week off to, to get rid of any niggling injuries or would you want to play again next week to keep up the momentum? Yeah, no, it's a terrible time for a week off. Uh, like whatever you, you say, I know it were um, sort of uh, thrust upon everybody at, at the last minute and, uh, and, and they want an awful lot we could do about it. We had to, to, to try and get those, those extra games in for, for League One teams and stuff. I understand the, the reasons why, but um, no, if, if, you know, if, if there was a little bit more time to plan, it should have been seven or eight games into the season when and we should have got some championship games under our belt, but it is what it is and we'll, we'll deal with it. How are you going to deal with it? Are you going to give the players a few days rest or back into training full time? We'll be, we'll be back in on Tuesday and Thursday and they'll have a long weekend uh, and then obviously we'll be back in to prep for Hammersmith the week after and then obviously at this moment in time with it being all cup games it's, it's, a, it's a case of um, reacting on, on the fly a little bit which, which nobody likes to do but we, we, that's where we're at and, and ultimately playing games to prep ourselves for a championship season. Gareth Wood up had another 40 minutes at half back again today, put Jufre back to full back. Is a, a bit of an embarrassment of riches, riches in our arsenal in terms of half back full back options um, that, that we've got going on at the moment? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's going to be some tough decisions to make in, in coming weeks. You know, today were a little bit easier for me personally because Woody had just tweaked his hamstring a little bit in that first half. So we took him off as a precaution and obviously at the time we were, we were comfortably in the lead. Uh, but yeah, again, um, as I said last week, nice to get some minutes under Gaza's belt um, as, as he hadn't trained an awful lot in pre-ant and a massive pre-season. So yeah, still still being cautious with him a little bit, but but good to see him. He'll probably be a bit disappointed that he ended up as a as playing a 40 minutes of defence, uh, but did, did have a nice kick at the end as an assist as well for a try. Yeah, you mentioned Will Bernal's injury. Is, it, is that serious or just precautionary, or is there any other injuries to report No, uh, Woody could have carried on really um, at a push, and I think he'd have been fine. But when when you when you've got somebody on the bench that can come on that position it's not going to necessarily weaken you. Um, I think it was a smart decision to, to just give him 40 minutes to, to ease off and we'll, we'll, we'll reassess him or assess him on Tuesday and see how he is but no, I think, he, I think he'll be alright, it was just uh, more of a precaution. A good home win to start the season, you'll know quite well that if that's a, deemed a slow start as of that, how, how important is it to keep that momentum going from a, from a, a, a good win today it was? Yeah, it's just important to keep improving, and, and I think we will. You know, we, we've spoken as, as a group, and it's a really smart group of players. They know they know what's needed, and, and they know the reasons why they've probably started slow in the last couple of years. And, and um, we're we're happy to get the win, and we know we know where we can improve and what we can improve on. And and we also we've we've left a few a few blanks in there that we need to fill in. Um, look. At, looking towards the championship season which is obviously starting six weeks later than normal um, and, and obviously our priority.